on YouTube, Kurt S7 here today to bring you guys Pro Evolution 2015. Yes, the Pez hype is real. Is it coming back into the world? It's it's definitely more relevant now, today, more than it ever has been on next gen consoles. But in saying that, lads, EA Sports have just shot themselves in the foot when it comes to price ranges and uh you know, a lot of people are turning to pets at the minute. Now, uh, I'm going to do this bit of an unboxing, and then I'm going to talk about my history with Pro Evolution, and then we're going to play some games and uh, get a bit of footage for you guys. But first things first, let's unbox this uh, this sucker. All right, let me get my uh, trusty little pocket knife here. By the way, I bought this for about thirty-five pounds, uh, about sixteen uh, sixty-nine Australian dollars. But, uh, 69. <laughs> nah, but in all seriousness, Pro Evolution, um, uh, about this game as well, it's just getting unbelievable mad review scores. It outdid, uh, FIFA 15 on, um, IGN. It got a, it got a 9.0 out of 10, and that's very, very high. And FIFA only got an 8.3 from IGN, so, anyways, let's just unbox this. <sighs> Smells like next generation beauty. <laughs> Anyways, when you open up inside, obviously you get the disc and you get the Pro Evolution. Uh, what's this? Uh, My Club Bonus DLC. So there we go. A little bit of DLC there. Let me cover the code. You comes with a code for My Club. Now My Club is the uh, equivalent to um, FIFA Ultimate Team. It's pretty much Pez's version, but. Uh, I might give it a shot. I'll see how we go, but definitely when it comes to Pro Evolution, let me just read this on the back for you. New shooting system, final pass, uh, unique ball physics, uh, physics means every pass is different. That's good to see. Beat your marker one-on-one. -on -one. Anyways, you guys, you guys will see that soon when you actually play the game. Or actually when I play the game for you, as you can see the disc right there. But that's about it. No really... No instructions whatsoever, but you come to expect that these days with next gen games. But my history with Pro Evolution, let me tell you very quickly before we play the games. I've always been a, a FIFA guy. I've always played FIFA my whole life. From the, the mid 90s, always, always upwards, uh, to the early 2000s until Pro Evolution 3 came out. Pro Evolution 3, uh, I got into that. I was still playing FIFA and I was, I was a big fan of... Um, Pro Evolution, I was like, geez, this is a lot more realistic. And I, ever since then, I got into Pro Evo 4. Pro Evo 4 was the game that I actually just nailed down. I didn't even play FIFA that year, I was just Pro Evolution. And ever since then, I was Pro Evolution, Pro Evolution, Pro Evolution. The game was unbelievable. And it dominated uh, the football gaming world. FIFA was no competition until the next generation consoles at the time, when the uh, Xbox original went to the Xbox 360 and the PS2 went to the PS3. That is when FIFA came back into play. That's when they they really got their grip back on the football scene and Pro Evolution just couldn't adapt to the next gen consoles and they couldn't adapt so good or so bad I should say that they never got a grip whatsoever on the old generation. Xbox 360, FIFA wiped the floor with Pro Evolution. You know, and same with PlayStation 3, just couldn't compete whatsoever. But now as we've gone from the 360 to the Xbox One and the PS3 to the PS4, Pro Evolution is having some relevance. Now, a lot of people are upset with EA about the whole price ranges things on Ultimate Team. That's why they're switching to Pro Evolution. But for me, why I, that, that yeah has upset me a little bit, whatnot, but not so much for me to go and buy the game for that particular reason. The reason why I bought this game is that I'm fed up with the gameplay on FIFA. The FIFA gameplay is just so unrealistic, so arcade -ish, so unrealistic. When you play FIFA Ultimate Team, all you need to do is, when you're in defense, put an overhead through ball to your striker, and if you've got Dumbia, you know, or Victor Barbara, you're gonna win that nine times out of 10. It takes no skill to play the game whatsoever. Pro Evolution is a much more realistic uh, game. You know, if, if you're that, that type of person that likes the arcade game and likes, you know, easy, fun, uh, gameplay, maybe FIFA is for you, you know, but if you're a bit like me who 
you know, it, it, it's got a bit more of a football brain up top and, you know, likes to have tactics and likes to, you know, work out their opponent and break them down and, and actually have some realistic gameplay. Well, Pro Evolution, mate, is the game. And uh, apparently it's back with a vengeance this year, but the only thing that Pro Evolution does not have, which really, really lets itself down, but nothing it can do, it just hasn't got the rights to the Premier League. So all the uh, club names, the only team they have is Manchester United, but all the other teams, all the other club names aren't there. So for, exi uh, for example, um, Arsenal, they're not called Arsenal in this game, they're called North London Red. Um, and all the players are still in there, all the stats are in there. It's just that the kits um, are not the same, which is just a real, real shame. But you can download option files, which has the kits in the game and has the club logos in there as well. They let you edit all the logos as well, so you can get it as close as possible to the real thing. But it just doesn't have it in there from the uh, minute you uh, put the disc in and play the game, which is just a shame. But they do have the rights to the Champions League, which FIFA or EA Sports don't have, so that's pretty cool, I guess. I was so into Pro Evolution that even still today on the uh, Xbox or PlayStation controller when I play FIFA, still till today, FIFA 15, I still use X to shoot and B to cross. I know that's a lot different to everybody else, but that's how much I was in love with uh, Pro Evolution. I just felt that so much more comfortable. And even now, when I play FIFA, I turn it to uh, the settings to alternate and make sure that X is my shoot button. Anyways, lads, let's play some Pro Evolution 2015. So here we go, Pro Evolution 2015. The pitch is ours. That's their slogan for the uh, 2015 game. So first uh, game off the rank, lads. Of course I was going to pick Manchester United in my first game. And uh, we are up against Real Madrid. Now I wanted to test out the whole Champions League look. And to be honest, lads, it looked fantastic. That look within the... Uh, the tunnel there as the players come walking out. I thought that was fantastic there as Falcao gets a goal. But now my first impressions about this game, okay? Now, first things first, the big note uh, for me was, you know, obviously playing for FIFA for ages and ages, especially FIFA 15. Um, sprinting does next to nothing in this game. Like, it's a game where you don't want to sprint. You don't have to sprint. You can actually you know, get past or work out the team without sprinting. And I thought that was just un unbelievable. Just not being able to... Well, you can sprint. Don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. You can sprint. You can get around players. But... When you're in the, when you got so much time on the on the ball, you don't have to sprint. You don't need to sprint, and because you got a lot of time on the ball in the midfield. Now, <clears throat> give or take, that this was not on a hard difficulty at all. I wanted a, a relatively easy difficulty, just because I can have a lot of the ball. Now I know once I uh, turn up that difficulty, I won't have so much time on the ball, but. When you're deep in the midfield, you know, you do have time on the ball. And it's real, it's very realistic, like in real life. When you're very, like, near the halfway line and you got the ball, you're going to have plenty of time. As you get deeper and deeper, closer to the box, of course, you're going to have less and less time on the ball and a lot more pressure. And I thought Pez does this really, really well. Look, see, I'm pretty far away from the... Uh, um, the goals here. I've got a lot of time on the ball. I can work out the defense, but as I get closer and closer, there's a lot more pressure. But obviously, when you're Cristiano Ronaldo, you're going to have uh, a lot more time on the ball and get around players easily as he has a shot there and uh, goes wide. But uh, yeah, not being able to sprint, that's what I love. The shooting mechanics was a little different. Now, I'm not going to say what I don't like about the game because everything's new to me. There's, there's a lot of things that I've got to get used to before I can say I, I I actually don't like the game. Uh, the shooting mechanics, it was hard to finish shot, I noticed. Like, it was just really, really different. I'm used to the real slow finesse shots in FIFA, but, you know, give or take, it's going to be a little bit different. Oh, obviously, the shooting mechanics is going to be different. Um, sprinting, uh, shooting, passing is something that I really like in this game. The passing... Unbelievable. I just I like a game that's got good passing, you know, where you actually need tactics because tactics is where, you know, a game's won or lost in real life and, and having that realistic element, mate, I'm all for it. You know, a lot of people aren't all for it. You know, I can I can see why they want to just one two and sprint and overhead through ball. I, oh oh my god, overhead through balls. 
it's pretty much non-existent in this game. As you can see, Robin, one-on-one, puts it wide. Yes, one-on-ones are a lot harder to score in this game, I notice. It's not all about getting past the keeper, getting around him and scoring easily. But I can't stress enough that these are my first impressions. I know I'm not going to have the same... Uh, impressions or the same opinions about this game in a few months time or even a few weeks when I get you know a lot more involved in this game but I do want to say lads that this game has got potential now potential to beat FIFA yes I do believe that I don't know when um, I'm not saying it's definitely this game I'm not saying it's gonna be you know Pez 2016 or FIFA 16 that's gonna beat it but it does have potential down the years to definitely beat FIFA uh, like I said, FIFA's a lot more arcadey. This is a lot more realistic. Um, but one thing that does let Pro Evolution down, and a lot of people just can't get this past them, is the kits and the online um, or the badges. You know, until Pro Evolution can sort that out. It's going to be pretty hard to overcome FIFA. But anyways, lads, I have hoped you enjoyed this video. Finally getting you some gameplay of Pro Evolution out there. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, please hit that thumbs up button. But anyways, lads, I've been your boy, Curtis 7 Take care and peace. If your girlfriend liked Man City, what would you do? Oh! Oh, shit! Do you think that Manchester United can win the Premier League? Yeah. Of course, mate, a hundred percent. We are gonna be lifting up that trophy in no time. Just, just not this season. Hopefully the next one we can do it. Just not this one.